good morning. I'm about to go to the post office and then I'm gonna head down the road to Penmar. I've been putting in overtime uh, on my videos and listings and just like everything, I've been super far ahead, but there's a reason, there's a method to my madness. It's because by the time this video posts, dang, hold on. By the time this video posts, I will be halfway across the country, probably in the middle of nowhere. My best friend, Ed, is moving to Los Angeles. I know, sad, but good for him. I'm gonna make the trip across the country with him. I'm not sure how much shopping I'm gonna do. It's kind of like his trip and I'm just along for the ride. I'm sure there will be some content that comes out of it, but I've been trying to get at least three weeks ahead. So when I come back, I'm not like, ah! it's Christmas and it's Black Friday and it's everything and I need to get all this stuff and I'm freaking out because it's super busy it's like the busiest time of the year to take a vacation so that's what I'm doing and that's where I'm at and I am gonna go to the post office and then head to Penmar and hopefully find some good goodies today all right let's go in and see what they got Looks like Christmas. Oh my gosh. They're running the vacuum, but I can't wait because I have never seen one of these. Um, is this Miss Dainty? I'm confused. Miss Dainty is left and this is Pie, pie Japan. That's the symbol I'm looking at. I'm definitely gonna get this for $30, but I'm gonna look it up too. Oh, the worst. I got so excited, I didn't even realize she is repaired. I'm gonna look it up anyway, just to be safe. Okay, so I was able to find more information on her. She is pie distributed by Usago, uh, United China Pottery and Glass Company. Now, she is super rare. She came in a bunch of colors. She came in pink, green, and blue. And it is a super hard find, find, thing to find, as I suspected. I can't even talk straight. I'm so excited. The last one on eBay sold for about almost um, $300, and that was in good condition. So for $30, even though she has the repair, I am going to go ahead and grab this. I should also say, that being said, this will not make it to Etsy. This will be run as an auction on eBay, even though I'm not usually an eBay person. I would have no idea how to price this fairly. I might change my mind. Um, do, definitely going to do some more homework on this one. Off to a really good start. I normally try not to buy things that repaired, but it's sold for such good money and it's such a rare item. I couldn't help myself. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. This booth has been completely rearranged. Wait a minute. Look, aha! It's a Christ piggy bank and it's only $7.50. Now, normally I don't pick these up because they're priced right below what I would sell them for after fees. Um, it's got a little uh, modified glitter situation happening and some crazing and it's missing its stopper. But for $7.50, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Now, there's a lot going on here. This is definitely the most interesting thing I've seen, though. These uh, pearlized ones are really hard to find. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, this is so out of control. I wasn't expecting this when I walked in this morning. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of like, oh, I guess I'll go to Penmar, even though I love Penmar. But I'm definitely going to get this. Pearlized anything is hard to find. All right, well, I'm definitely going to go ahead and pick this set up, too. This is really hard to find. Man, and normally I see it in the miniature size, not even this larger size. $4 is a steal for the pair. And what about this one? It's kind of cute. $6. I wonder how well that would sell. Um, oh, man. And then one of these guys, too. I have one of these in my shop. It's actually, hold on, I saw it here. I have this one in my shop right now and mine's missing a little paint too. Ah, look, it's one of these guys. Now, is it chipped up? Yeah, it's chipped up a little bit on the ears. They normally are. $6 is a super fair price. I'm gonna put this one back. I'm not really trying to get anything else that's uh, damaged. Look at this one, is this, that's Japan? That's so funny. 
It's only $6, it's missing its stopper, but it's in really good condition, and I haven't seen one like it before, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up too. I am not making it far. Um, I'm like Mrs. Claus bobblehead, but she's missing Santa. I'm trying to sneak past here. The camera's probably making people dizzy. Look at these cute bees. Now, I've been kind of staying away from the bisque ones. I've picked them up, they're kind of common. It's this one. This little baby girl with the telephone, I cannot resist. However, at $15, that's probably pretty close to what I'd get for that after fees. The last one I had similar sold for about $18. I am gonna really search through this booth because um, I just realized this vendor has another space and they kind of deal in masses. So I know they're not looking this stuff up. This one is cute too. It's only $7.50. I think I'm gonna leave it behind just cause I've had so many similar. I'm not really seeing anyone else that jumps out at me. And then I'm seeing these guys, a little snowman. Ah, there's so much stuff everywhere. Okay, $2, that's a really good price. Um, I picked a couple of these up. Is it for, wait, is it for both? No, five dollars and two dollars. I picked a couple of those up last year. They sold for like eleven bucks or whatever. But I'm not sure I would do that again. I felt like I overpriced them a little bit, to be honest. And then the purple cow, ten dollars. I'm gonna leave that one. Um, I've had a, I had him in green not that long ago, and it took a while. The first one I had in green sold instantly. I don't want to play it out. Oh. This is such a fun mug. This would be a great gift. Who makes this? Interesting. Love the leg lamp. I'm getting so lucky today that I'm kind of scouring uh, closer than I normally would. It's been longer than it's normally been since I've been here last. I'm kind of feeling like maybe there's something hiding for me in one of these booths that uh, is fully restocked. Christmas trolls, 50% off. Those are definitely newer though. Oh my gosh, look at all these Cupid dolls in here. What? I know they're newer, but they're so cheap. They're 50% off. Man, I feel kind of strange leaving these behind at these prices. Oh, there's someone trying to get in right behind me. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. That is something I will never understand. People who need to be right directly in the same booth as you are when there's like no one else in the antique mall. <laughs> like this little uh, flock poodle bobble. That's cute, $12, that's retail on that. And then these guys I've picked up before. I guess there's another one of these funny banks. Very cool. Hmm. Gobel. Um, I kind of like these uh, Polish candle holders. This Raggedy Ann music box is cute. Hong Kong. I've had that one actually. Wait a minute. 50% off. Is it marked firm? 25. It is not marked firm. 12.50. It doesn't squeak. It's still a little bit more than I'd like to pay for that, honestly. If it squeaked, I would jump on it for sure. Here's one of these flocked Santas. And $12, it's 50% off, so six bucks. That's in good enough condition. The price is right for me. Uh, it's got like a little piece of flocking missing on one of its hands, but uh, for six bucks, I don't really mind. He's got a great face. Now, what is this mouse? He's got a very unique look. I was gonna say, it kind of has a Kamar-like quality, and I was not wrong, $7.50. Um, Kamar makes these incredible pixies and devils and knee huggers I really like. I don't see the stuffed animals too much. They kind of resemble dream pets, but as you can kind of see by this guy's expression, they have a little bit more of a unique quality. So for $7.50, I'm going to go ahead and pick this guy up. This booth always has uh, fun textiles and linens. I noticed these immediately, but then I saw these Santa Claus. Miss Snowman, excuse me. 
That is pretty adorable. Oh, look at the snowman ornament. It's in the original container too. And then they also have these new old stock angels. Those are kind of neat. Eight bucks, that's super fair for retail. I think I could probably make a couple dollars off them if I really wanted to. Speaking of new old stock, these are fun. I like that they're pink. And look at this guy. Or these people, I should say. <laughs> There's uh, a bunch of them. They're freaking 20% off and they're in their original packaging. So $6.40. Should I go ahead and pick those up? I feel like I should. Those are really fun. The fact that it's in the original packaging sells that for me. Now, what about this little Santa plate? That is 80s. It's not exactly what I thought. It looked like it could have been a like a 70s left-in design. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about picking up the angels. I missed the 20% off sign at first. That would only be uh, six dollars in. 40 cents because it's in the packaging. It's kind of grand. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this funny, funny mouse doll? Oh, it's uh, Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. I remember those. Not what I thought it was. And of course, I noticed the Jadeite. I think they're double egg cups. Um, $20, even with 20%. That's more, too much for me. Oh, what's this? Beaded cat purse hanging up here. Six dollars. Is this what I think it is? Hold on, let me put my camera down and open this. Surprisingly, it is not. It is Liz Claiborne. And I totally thought this was going to be vintage because it looks kind of vintage-y, but it's not. But wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Yo, what? How is this two dollars? Viking. Hold on. I thought it was one of those Danish ones. It might hold on. Let me look at I think it is. Hold on. Look. Let me look at this tag. I can't I can't see that small print. Okay, so it's made to look like one of those uh ones from the Netherlands. It's only two dollars and twenty percent off. It's made by Viking Japan. I was able to find a few comparables. It looks like the average sold price is about twenty-five dollars. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and scoop this up for a dollar eighty. I mean, come on. And lamb salt and pepper shakers. Those are harder to find. Eight dollars. It's a super fair price. They're not my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. I'm Got a lot of stuff going on here and I am excited to keep going. What are these wall pockets? Oh my gosh. They're for the pair of $49. And Nesco, they kind of have the whole Howard look to them. Um, that's a really good price. I've never seen the wall pockets, honestly. I was about to look up those Nesco wall pockets when I saw this. Yo. What? 65, that seems... So I did look these up. I wasn't able to find any in sold. I don't have the most luck with the grandma, grandma and grandpa set by Nesco. And all as I feel like $49 for the pair for a collector is super cheap. Um, for me, I'm a little hesitant to spend that much. There's one listed on eBay for like a stupid amount, honestly. Uh, I don't think that will uh, happen for them but I, oh, sorry, I had a low battery warning. Oh my gosh, I hope my phone doesn't die in here. I need to speed this party up just a little bit. My phone is definitely gonna die. I might have to go out and charge it in the car. Three ceramic snowmen, $10. I'm gonna pass on those, those are cute, but um, random Holt Howard rooster mug, five bucks. Uh, it's got a little chip on the bottom. Kind of a tough sell, the rooster set. If it didn't have the chip, I'd get it. All right, we got another one of these sets. These are $20, that's a no. Um, little random Hold Howard winking mug, six bucks. It's got some paint loss, but it is Hold Howard. 
um, the miniature hold hard ones I usually sell for 11 bucks uh, in this condition and they sell quick maybe I should just go ahead and pick it up I don't know if it's worth five spending five bucks making five bucks though ah I'm crazy my phone's about to die too Eh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it why not tis the season can't help but notice this either this almost looks like Josef originals but even with 50% off $9, I'm not sure there's much more left to give of that. What about this? Is this? Man, these little wooden figurines are confusing me. I feel like I'm going to regret leaving that. But um, kind of throw. Oh, there it is. Hold on. All right. Well, I'm not sure what to do with this but at $12.50 I'm probably going to regret leaving it but I'm going to move on because I only have like 3% battery left. I've been kind of straying away from this set because I've had it so many times but they're $5 and 20% off so I think I, I'm going to go ahead and grab these for 4 bucks. Ah! Look at this little monkey! $12? That's kind of crazy. I'm going to put that back. Oh my gosh. Look at all this Christmas. I love the little angels. I do believe they are $32 each, though. It says angel. It says angel. Hmm. Fantastic tall Italy cat. Don't... Oh, Japan. Forgive me. Wow, that was a little surprising. This one is huge. Oh my gosh, look at how big that one is. It's 22 for the pair. That's a really good price. I don't really want to ship something that tall, though, especially when I do a lot of combined shipping. I think I'm going to leave that one as crazy as it might be. So I spent $88 in there. I'm kind of second guessing myself buying a $30 cracked and chipped uh, repaired cookie jar. But you know what? I think it's all right. Somebody will be happy to add it to their collection uh, since it is such a hard to find item. I'm going to go home, unpack this stuff, and I will see you guys tomorrow.